Okay guys, I'm doing a little, um, I don't know, troubleshooting for some people that are having trouble understanding this, plus the naysayers. Uh, uh, main point of this video really is to show that it actually does work on a deadbolt. Okay, if you remember from the video, the link to it is up here. Uh, we use this Schlag hunk of junk. Okay, which I no longer have installed. And we used a key that looked very much like this. So I just remade this key. It took me about two minutes. I have a package from, um, you know, batteries. Really flimsy. Um, crappy plastic, right? The question is, is can it work in a deadbolt? And so I guess it depends on how you're thinking about this. We'll insert the key here. I want you to notice when we look at this key after just how flimsy and how deep the cuts are on it which makes it very difficult to get in the hole it makes it very weak let's see okay all right so as you can see all day long, you can turn this damn thing back and forth. All right, so it does work in a deadbolt. I don't know what to tell people if they're not doing this right. Um, if you're using a very thick plastic, a lot of times you gotta put a channel right down the center of it, like by bending it. And what that does is lets it pass through, sorry, lets it pass through right past that little divot that's supposed to go inside the channel on the original key but when you bend it like like this to do that when you crease it you lose width okay so you may have to leave a little you may have to leave a little material right here and then keep cutting it back until you find the right balance but you will find that these very flimsy ones actually work better by that pushing the pins down with them the mechanism inside this thing but they don't turn as easily so but but really the things people are going to say is well i'm not carrying one of these lock pick things around i'm just carrying the spare key and i'm i'm not uh squirrel wants to attack me i guess um i'm not carrying this so why are you showing me that well you could use anything you could use the edge of a credit card once you push that in there right and you can use the edge of a credit card to help assist it in turning around because there are different parts to a key right and if you look this part right here that stops the key is the shoulder and the part just in front of that is actually left flat on most keys to help act as uh, the, the, the main thing that turns the uh, turns over the, the tumbler, right? So the tips push the pins down, but they really have no structural strength. If there were no pins, uh, you could still turn a lock with just this much of it. Okay, so if you have something flimsy, this is the idea. The part past your shoulders there that would turn it need replaced by something else. That's why once you insert the key, you could stick a dime in the edge of that, a small coin, you know. You just got to use your common sense if you have any and uh, assist the tumbler in turning. Okay, I hope I'm getting all my terms right here. But uh, anyways, yeah, so... I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I did notice a lot of people are having trouble getting the key to turn black. But if you're using a Bic lighter, um, it'll be fine. And flimsy plastic works great, but it doesn't, it's not as durable. So if you make a, a thick plastic one, and there's, there's plenty of plastics that are twice as thick as this out there, you're probably going to have a key that lasts a hell of a lot longer. So yeah, if I missed any things um let me know 
I'm sure a ton of people are going to be like, okay, well, if you if you put that install this baby in the door, it's it's not going to work because it's going to be so stiff the mechanism won't turn. And I guess I could take five minutes to reinstall it in the door here real quick and and show you wrong. So I guess we'll end the video with me using this. Uh, I'll reinstall it in the door and. Um, We'll turn it over a couple times. Well, oh, thanks for viewing. Okay, there's a little side note here before we stick this in the deadbolt and prove some people wrong. This is a very crappy copy. Okay, that the focus. This plastic is chewed up. It is chewed up. Look at it. That's pathetic. But we're gonna stick this in this lock in just a second. And you're going to see that even this crappy little key is going to work in that stiff deadbolt. Okay, so this is a functioning schlag lock. Okay, um, I had to reinstall it. I don't use this one anymore, but this is the same door. I don't think I did a very good job. Um, but it... It's a deadbolt. What do you want, right? Okay, so uh, the myth was that this key, piece of crap key, cannot open a deadbolt. And I showed you outside on my park bench there that it could when it was uninstalled. And now I'm going to show you that it can while is installed in the actual door and the mechanism can put stress on it so there you go I mean I hate to tell you you're wrong actually I love telling you that you're wrong if you're one of the naysayers but this baby can unlock a deadbolt um, it's the same mechanism the reason why you don't see the experts arguing with me about this video is that they know it's the same mechanism and they know it's just a matter of putting a dime or a credit card in there to aid the cylinder turning okay and uh, or you could use one of these or whatever the hell you're gonna stick in there to help it out obviously it's gonna be very hard to turn this thing in in anything more than a doorknob and it better be a pretty clean doorknob but you know you can just stick something in there to aid it and you can't use this technique on my newer one because it has dimples but um, yeah so I'll rip that out and and now you you have your video proof okay I don't know what else more you want me to do the the only way this thing would not turn in with the, this key in it is if this thing was not strong enough to turn this if it was so stiff that this would not turn it then a key is going to break in inside of it when it's used in there because <laughs> this is this is windshield wiper steel is very flexible very tough hard to bend so I mean, if that metal can't do it, nothing can. Thank you for viewing, and remember, if you want to see the original video, it's over here. And, and I have other videos that are unrelated and interesting or whatever, so check out my channel. Thanks for viewing.